All right, guys, so on my channel, sometimes I like to talk about this thing called precedent, right? And how important the concept of precedence is in politics, right? When it comes to legislation, when it comes to almost everything having to do with politics, what you did in the past, right? Kind of dictates how you act in the future, right? And this shows up probably more than anywhere in the court system okay the court system this is where this concept of precedent really 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 has a lot of importance okay and this judge right in this story um is really setting a crazy precedent when he decided that a mother could not see her child okay can i get custody of her child until she is vaccinated Take a look. And a Fox 32 exclusive. Tonight, a mother says that a Cook County judge took away her parental rights after learning she's not vaccinated. Dane Placco is at Daily Plaza with details on this story. Dane? It may be a first of its kind case. A Cook County judge here at the Daily Center has stripped a Chicago mom of her parenting rights because she's refused to get the COVID vaccine. And he is a very sweet boy. He's my whole world. You miss him. I miss him more than anything. Rebecca Furlitt has been divorced for seven years and shares custody of her 11-year-old son with her ex-husband, what had been a 50-50 split in parenting time. But on August 10th, in an unrelated child support hearing, Cook County Judge James Shapiro asked Furlitt whether she'd been vaccinated. When she told the judge no because she's had bad reactions to vaccines in the past, Judge Shapiro stripped Furlitt of all of her parenting time until she agrees to get vaccinated. I think that it's wrong. I think that it's dividing families. And I think that it's not in my son's best interest to be away from his mother. Furlitt is now asking the appellate court to stay the judge's order, her attorney saying the judge has overstepped his authority. And you have to understand, the father did not even bring this issue before the court. So it's the judge on his own making this decision that you can't see your child until you're vaccinated. We just wanted the mother to pay support. The father's attorney, Jeffrey Leving, says while they were surprised by the order, he believes the judge is making the right call, given the seriousness of the pandemic. And there are children that have died because of COVID. I think every child should be safe. And I agree that the mother should be vaccinated. Leving believes the judge is breaking new ground that could play out in other custody cases as well. No word on when the appellate court will make its decision. At the Daily Center, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. All right, guys. So first and foremost, like any video that I make regarding the vaccine, the pandemic, the mask, I'm not making any claims about the mask. I'm not making any claims about the pandemic. I'm not making any claims about the vaccines. I'm not making any claims whatsoever. I'm not making any medical claims whatsoever. Okay? If you have any questions about masks, vaccine, the virus, the pandemic, consult your doctor. Consult your doctor. Okay? Whom, <laughs> ironically, probably should have been the person that was consulted about this decision. Okay? That, that's the person that should have been consulted here, guys. I think it is obvious that the judge overstepped his boundaries here, right? I, I think it's very, very obvious. Who is a judge to decide whether or not the vaccine is appropriate for this woman, right? He's not the one that's supposed to decide that. That's supposed to be something that she discusses with her doctor. That's between her and her medical professional, okay? And, and this is why this, this precedent is so, is so crazy because guys, like you said in the video, this could have an effect on how future custody battles play out, right? And I mean, that leads to the natural question of if both parents were not unvaccinated, then what would they have done? Would have, they had took the child away from the parents because they both weren't unvaccinated? Because now, again, like I told you guys, this precedent that this man is setting, um, why won't you just take it another step? Why would you just take another step? Because if that's enough justification to take away the rights to see your child from one parent, then it would have to be from the other parent too, right? And if both parents are not vaccinated, then what do you think that leads to? You know, I understand public safety. I understand public health. I understand people encouraging people to, you know, do this or do that when it comes to their health. I get it, right? But 
these decisions are best left to the patient and their doctor, right? That, 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 that's who they're supposed to be having these conversations with. These, these are the people that are supposed to be making these decisions. The judge does not have a medical degree, right? I mean, this is basically like taking access to your child away because you let them swim in a kiddie pool without a life jacket. So we're going to take your child away because your child been in danger. How many parents, guys, do you think have come through that courtroom that have done drugs, that are actively doing drugs, right? That are clearly unable to take care of that child or put their child in a safe, caring environment, an environment where they're going to be successful and they was allowed to keep custody. I'm pretty sure a whole lot of them, right? We're not out here taking away children because their mother smokes cigarettes, okay? Because you can say a mother smoking cigarettes in her child's presence, that child getting secondhand smoke. Matter of fact, I just... I literally just seen that the other day, right? Mother picking up her kids from the mall, smoking, right? Smoking. Now, she might have been smoking out the window, but still, you can't say they're not getting secondhand smoke, right? Ton of kids in the car, small kids. Should her children be taken away because of that? You know, I mean, that's a health risk. Again, there's a lot of questions here when, when you start to see this type of thing happen. It really is. It's a lot of questions. You know, like at the end of the day, why is it so hard for people just to say, listen, talk to your doctor, right? Talk to your doctor. Talk to your medical professional. But judge wants to be that too. Guys, th this right here, guys, this is crazy. This is sad. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.